Hello everyone, it's Paola. So I woke up today and I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to make a background, like a wallpaper for my phone for Christmas, like a holiday related one. I want to actually design something for it. And you know what? Why not make it for me and also for you? So I decided to make a wallpaper that you can like download and a holiday wallpaper, why not? It's a fun time. It's about to be Thanksgiving. Well, I'm probably gonna post this like after Thanksgiving. So I'm like kind of pressed for time today. I was packing and I was like, you know what? This would be a fun project to do because it honestly is a fun project to do. So let's design something together, have fun, and then you can have my wallpaper because why not? That's so cool. I like this idea. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna roll with it. Why not? Also, hello all you new people. There are so many people subscribing to me and commenting on my video and it, you're all coming from that workday video, I think. So hopefully this will be cool for you because this is another like work with me, like daily thing. I'm trying to vlog more, do more of this kind of stuff. So thank you so much to all the new people. You're all great. I mean, except for the kind of rude comments that I've been getting because I'm getting more views, which means more rude comments, but that's fine. I can deal with it. I love the positive people. I love the community we make. So thank you so much. It's all a bit overwhelming, but you know what? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is a great community of artists and designers and we have fun over here for sure. And also follow me on Instagram at Paola Casa. And yeah, I post a lot on there and I post on, like Q and A's like, I just did right now. We're probably gonna talk about that in this video. And you know, I post like a ton of stuff. So if you want more content, I'm over on Instagram. And yeah, let's create something, why not? Okay, time for the Q&A. I changed my earrings because I'm going on a bus later and I'm not about to wear big earrings on a bus. Okay, so we're gonna do the Q&A that I put out on Instagram on my stories to ask me quick questions so I could just talk about it in this video. I actually got a lot more than I expected, so I don't know if I'm gonna answer all of them, but I'm going to answer a few. You can get to know me a little bit better and also, you know, some design advice, of course. That's what a lot of the questions are about, but let's do it. Okay, my first question is what inspires you? So I actually have a video about finding inspiration in my creative process. I will link that below 
and also in the cards um but in general what inspires me is just like like really visual platforms like instagram and pinterest when i go on i usually can find like cool illustrations cool designs that inspire me typography i always am looking for new typography that really like motivates me and yeah just like organizing all of those like i save things on instagram and then i save things on pinterest and organizing that into like sections that are very aesthetically pleasing that's really inspiring to me yeah i'm always looking for new people on instagram and stuff so it's a it's a constant flow okay where are you from i am from detroit area detroit michigan from michigan colombian background live in new york going off of the last question how much does it cost to live in new york and do you like it it costs a lot of money i'll be honest uh <laughs> it's very expensive to live in new york uh i couldn't tell you exactly what it costs because i think it's different for everyone and it's you know where you're living what you decide to do i live in brooklyn like out in brooklyn so i can afford it a little bit um but it is very expensive and i think it's totally worth it like it's worth it for me especially right now in my life so i'm really happy here and yeah i love it that's an interesting question i feel like i've definitely hated a lot of my projects especially when i'm in when i was in school and like you know i didn't like the project brief in general or whatever in order to love your projects you just have to keep pushing through and push through all the bad projects until you find good ones i've had so many projects where i literally like wanted to cry while doing it because this was a lot in school but like i wanted to cry because i'm like this is terrible like i hate it or i have no ideas or i just felt stuck and there was there's a lot of that but i just pushed through finished the things that i hated even if i hated them and i'm like this sucks it's the worst thing i've ever made like make the worst thing you've ever made it's it's fine and find stuff that you actually want to make and that you'll enjoy i feel like passion projects stuff that you actually are motivating yourself to do you'll actually end up liking but it does take a lot of trial and error and failure and that's fine keep going how are you such a cute little peanut genetics blood magic please answer in video uh megan i it's magic i'm a witch <laughs> thank you why live in new york and not san francisco land of startups um that's an interesting question it's like i got a comment the other day it was kind of a mean comment <laughs> i deleted it it was mean that they were like wow you're such a like a woman in tech like being sarcastic saying i was a woman in tech and i was like i don't define i thought about it i'm like i don't define myself as a woman in tech and like this i feel like goes with that like i'm not looking to work at a startup that's not what i do at all like i'm i have my own design aesthetic i like doing my own thing and i'm not a tech person i don't do ux design and i'm i don't code i'm not interested in any of that i'm much more hands-on handmade side of graphic design um so yeah i wouldn't want to live in san francisco plus it's more expensive than new york so no thanks i feel like i'm always striving to find like a certain type of music or genre that will get me motivated and get me in like this specific headspace and an album that really does that for me is bad sun's first album i love all of bad sun's music they're my favorite band but their first album something about it just puts me in this headspace where i'm like wow like i just there's it's something within me that's like this is this is great <laughs> and then like i feel motivated to do things or like just live my life i don't know something about it it helps me definitely with my creative process <laughs> i love this not related to your job but christmas gift ideas i feel like i always want the most random things for christmas and this year we're like not really doing gifts in my family but things that i personally think would be good gifts a weighted blanket i think that's amazing because so comfy and also like hoodie and sweatpants like something cute like that i really think that's a good gift uh watercolor paints i really want to try painting so watercolors would be a great gift for me so that might be good for someone else if they want to try out painting watercolor like a little set that's so cute uh markers pens all sorts of stuff to draw with how does graphic design relate to fashion um i think it definitely relates to fashion but i don't think it always has to I think graphic design can be a lot of different things and it can cover a lot of areas of everything but with fashion i mean i definitely see the connection because that's something that i'm interested in uh there's so much that goes into it like i follow so many people who work in the magazine industry you know fashion magazines 
or like even designers who put together like they do setups and photo shoots and stuff that are very fashion forward and fashion related like even those still life kind of works color palettes typography it's all it all can be influenced by fashion and I think it's really interesting because I personally love fashion and I started my channel doing fashion and then working in some design stuff because that's what I was studying and then it kind of blossomed into what I do now but I love fashion and will always continue working with it somehow in my work so I think it goes together how do you deal with design job rejections um, well, I've gotten a lot of those. <laughs> I've been rejected from so many, so many jobs. I mean, I'm working for myself right now because I couldn't get a full-time job at the moment. So it, I mean, dealing with rejection, you just got to keep going. You just got to pick yourself up and carry on. I really never got sad about it because it didn't feel necessary to me. I thought, you know what? I just need to keep going. And yeah, I can get frustrating. I get really frustrated, especially when, you know, you get through to like, you're talking to someone that you feel hopeful about it and then all of a sudden they're like oh we went another direction and that that sucks but i think the best thing you can do is just find a new avenue i think whenever things don't work out it's just not meant to be and that's really how i see it and i know that's not like the most helpful thing in the world but that is what helps me is just keeping that keeping that in my mind because it makes me think okay i'm not gonna lose hope it's just not the right thing for me definitely there are so many uh, misconception, I think a big misconception right now about what I'm doing personally about freelance is that I'm making tons of money. <laughs> I'm not. I also got a question on here that was like, how much do you make? And I was like, oh, I don't want to answer that. That's so crazy to me. Like, I wouldn't answer just like, here's all the money I make. Like, I'm really not making money. Like, that's what sucks right now is that I'm not making that much money. So yeah, just full transparency there. Like, I am doing all of this because I want to grow and it's a big risk right now so it doesn't feel like super solid so i think with freelance the problem is that you don't feel super solid all the time and the misconception right like i think especially with all these comments i'm getting is like that i'm doing like super super well and it's like it's a one thing that you can do is freelance and like you you know right out of school and you'll be so successful it's like i think it's hard i think it's different for everyone and you're all on your own journey so i think like a big misconception is that it's just like you're gonna be super successful at it when you know you never know it's always a risk like I'm not in the best position ever I'm not here like on a high horse telling you what you should do with your life because I'm right there with you that's what I keep trying to tell you guys is like I'm struggling too like I'm trying to make it in the world just like you are like hopefully that can be relatable to you so yeah hopefully that was helpful and that is all i'm going to answer in this q a so thank you so much for all the questions we'll definitely do this again soon and also on my instagram stories in general we might just do like those kind of q a's quickly so they won't always be in video so definitely follow me uh but yeah this was a fun one i thought i mean i answered a lot of questions and you know you got a little more insight on on me okay so that was my video for this week i hope you enjoyed watching it i certainly have fun doing this kind of stuff just doing small creative projects that that's what keeps me going that's what keeps me motivated and yeah it just makes me happy so if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please give this video a like and also let me know what you want to see in future videos or any thoughts in the comments below please be nice please be respectful and i will see you in my next video